Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the start of our St. Paul's Week. This occasion marks the 80th year of St. Paul College of Makati, a new chapter to be filled with significant learning and fond memories. This highly anticipated event is quite different from the other St. Paul's Week celebration that we had because of the current pandemic that we are in. Nevertheless, through the grace of God and the gift of technology, we commemorate this moment in our history virtually as one Polinian family. I am Mr. Neil Gabriel Cagadas. And I am Shaya Reyes. We are your, we are hosts, your hosts for, for today. today. May I request everyone in the comfort of their homes to stand for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. You may now be seated. Now, let us recite the life performance outcome for this event. As a Christ-centered Polinian, I am a courageous, resourceful explorer and problem solver, demonstrating my creativity and charism. Prior to the opening, we have been granted by the grace of God through a Eucharistic celebration to start this highly anticipated event, sponsored by St. Paul University, Manila. We are in our 79th year in preparation of our 80th year celebration. Now, let us witness an opening dance presentation performed to us virtually by members of St. Paul College of Makati community. I am really excited to see this, sir, because not only does it showcase our talents, but also it is making clear that no pandemic can ever stop us to be unified. Let us give it up to the opening dance presentation of St. Paul College of Makati. Pagkasagos ng panahon Maghikain sa paroroon Kaya't maya ay may darating na umos Ay mo kaya kapatang halon Pangangalaga ng buhay Nang kalikas at kapayapaan Pagpapalas mo, kita nyo Isigaw mo Pulihin yan ako Tapos nung 
Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Mundo'y nakikinig sa'yo para simulan ang pagbabago Ilang oras pa ba ang kinakailangan? May pag-ibig pa kaya? O pangunawa man? O prinsipyong di na mababali? Kayang harapin, kayang-kayang sagipin Huwag matakot ipakita ang galing Lagi-lagi mong tatandaan Totoo ang pagmamahal at kapayapan Ang tatak na ibabandera mo Walang upang tulong at kalinga sa kapatawa See, Polinians are super talented. A virtual round of applause for that. That is true, Shara. I'm excited about this year's St. Paul's Week. Uh, at this point, we will hear the opening remarks from our ever-supportive Director's Principal, Sister Mirna Castante, SBC. A blessed day to all of you. Welcome to this virtual celebration of St. Paul's Week. We honor St. Paul, our patron, the Apostle to the Gentiles. Today, January 25, we celebrate the feast of his conversion. This famous story of his conversion, which all Polinians should know by heart, is recorded in the Bible in the Acts of the Apostles of the New Testament. In there, we are told that during his journey to Damascus, supposedly to persecute the Christians, he was struck by a dazzling light. That experience changed his life forever, from a fierce persecutor of Christians to his very loyal defender. That Damascus experience was his experience of the person of Jesus. My dear Paulinians, God is calling us to be like St. Paul. We may not have the dramatic experience of Jesus as St. Paul had in his way to Damascus. Nevertheless, Christ is calling us. You are Paulinians. Act, behave, and feel as real Paulinians. This call is manifested in our motto, Caritas Christi Urgent Nos. Let us not allow this pandemic characterized by Boca word. The acronym Boca means volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous to deter us from living out our five C's, Christ-centered, charitable, communitarian, charismatic, and commissioned to witness to the gospel. With profound gratitude, let us remember the many significant people who were instrumental in bringing St. Paul College of Makati to what she is today after 80 years of existence. We pay homage to Father Lazaro Otsoga, then parish priest of St. Peter and Paul Parish, who requested this SPC congregation to open a school in this parish through our then provincial superior, Mother Alice de St. Paul Hatsiri. The year was 1942, long before most of us were born. We too prayerfully remember the many SPC sisters, Polinian teachers, other employees, students, parents, and other stakeholders who generously served and supported SPCM through the years. You have enjoyable, challenging, 
engaging and exciting activities lined up for this week. Yes, St. Paul's Week during the 80th year of SPCM is a fitting occasion for joy and thanksgiving. So then, let us celebrate Caritas Christi Urgent Nos. Thank you so much, Sister Mirna. Truly, it was an inspiring speech starting off the St. Paul's Week right. Indeed, let us all be like St. Paul and honor and spread God's words and works in our lives. Let us now embark in our hearts the powerful spirit of a true Polinian in our souls. I love that power, Paul, spirit of true Polinian. And now, as we are all excited to know what's in store for us this week, may I call on our student affairs team leader, Mr. Cedric D. Thank you, Sir Neo. To our dear directress principal, Sister Mirna Castante, SPC, our local superior and finance officer, Sister Mary Urban Mago, SPC, to Sister Mary Adele Bonzon, SPC, and to our Christian formation uh, head, Sister Maria Socorro Marcos, SPC, Polingian educators, staff, and students, happy St. Paul's Day and good morning to everyone. Today is a great day as we start to celebrate our annual celebration of SPCM Week 2022. Are you ready, Polinians, for a fun-filled and exciting activities lined up just for you? First, we have our Polyquizly, wherein it will test the participants how far do they know our Polinian roots and identity, spirituality, and mission we have as Polinian. Second, get ready to shine as you unfold your potential and unleash your talents through your participation in our Academic Fest 2022. Third, our online sports and games exhibition. This is the best time for you to officially set your mood outside academics. Play with passion with your team. Keep calm and game on. Fourth, our Poly Fun Day Boots that are already open today. You may surprise and make your loved ones happy through sending them your warmest greetings and dedication through Poly Liham. And you may also join on our Poly Click Contest. Share your grace-filled and faith-driven journey to all Polinians. Guidelines on how to join is already sent in your official email accounts. Prizes are waiting, so let's have fun through these virtual booths organized for you. Last but not the least is our SPCM Festival of Talents 2022 with the team Puhon, Decades of Hope. Witness your fellow Polinians, faculty and staff, alumni, and more surprise performers, especially for you Polinians. All the details of our events and activities were sent to your email account, or you may check our official Facebook page, St. Paul College of Makati. Together, let us all enjoy and have fun with our St. Paul's Week 2022 virtual celebration. Again, happy Fiesta Polinians! Caritas Christi Urgetnos! Thank you so much, Mr. Cedric D. This celebration is also the time for us to give our gratitudes to our SPCM service awardees. They are given this recognition for the years they have rendered for the institution's development. To give us the SPCM service awards 2022, let us all watch this video.
for 30 years. Siyempre, as a school nurse, pumasok ako dito 1992. Dalaga pa ako noon. Nagpasalamat din ako sa mga madre kasi ang baik-baik nila, tinanggap. Pero iniisip ko kung kaya ko ba kasi ako lang ang nurse tapos 1-8 yung estudyante na medyo bandayan ko yung mga ganun. Pero sa tulong din ni Doktora Malini na parang nalagi nag-i-encourage sa akin na hindi kasi ano mo yan, nandito naman ako, kayang kaya mo yan. So as a school nurse, hindi, ma, um, napaka-challenging talaga ang trabaho dito kasi marami kang pakikisamahan, lalo na yung mga parents, mga estudyante. Alam mo, pag ayaw, ayaw nila yung subjects nila, okay, mag-skip sila. Sa clinic, ang anuhan nila yung subjects. Punta silang clinic, magmasakit ang tiyan, masakit ang ulo. Hindi, siyempre, ako naman as a nurse, minsan, okay lang. Sige, mag-rest ka muna dyan, pero mabalik ka mamaya, ha? Kailan kasi yung sahing klase mo. Pero pag araw-arawin ka, hindi puntahan ganun din ang mga estudyante na pumupunta. Araw-araw, siyempre, as a nurse, Ayaw ko rin itolerate sila, sir, na huwag ganun kasi pumunta kayo sa school para mag-aral, hindi eh. Para ka rin nanay nila eh. Pero itong same school talaga dito ako nagiging yung, yung parang naka-Diyos, alam mo yun. Nagustuhan ko rin na dito kasi na, parang na-continue din yung spiritual growth ko na pero yun, laging may retreat, may recollection, tapos may confession, yung ganun, tapos mass, yung... Every first Friday, talaga mukun pa nung start ako dito, laging may mas gano'n. Tapos mga rosary gano'n. Parang hindi nawawala, di ba? Kaya, masalamat talaga ako kasi dalaga pa ako pumasok dito, tapos dito na rin ako nakatag-asawa. Tapos dito na rin mag... Tatlo yung anak ko, dito na rin sila nag-aral, nag-graduate. Ngayong college na sila. Kaya malaki din ang pasalamat ko dito sa mga madre kasi parang second home ko na rin ito eh. At saka, kailangan mo din pag nagtrabaho ka yung patience mo, compassionate ka din sa mga. Pinakaano ko rin dito kasi yung mga nabuild ko ng friendship nang simula nung nag-start ako dito. At saka hanggang ngayon, siyempre hindi ko yung makakalimutan. Tapos, yung mga sisters noon na yung iba, wala na sila. Tapos, lalo na yung si Sister Teresia, yun yung una kong madre ng pagpasok na dito. Yun ang ano ko, kaya lang pa sana ako. <coughs> Siyempre, part pa rin ako ng family ng saint ko. Yun, kailangan lang talaga yung dedicated kayo sa trabaho ninyo. Nandun yung love yung parang compassionate, yung parang yun, loving, tapos yung magpapapasensya ka din talaga kayo sa mga bata. Buong puso ko akong nagpapasalamat sa mga sisters, lalo na kay sister niya yung nakastante. Yung natutuwa ako na ano, na-appreciate niya yung ginagawa ko sa kanya. Kay sister Orban naman, salamat ako na Tanggap nila ako. Feel mo na family ka talaga nila. At kay sister Adel naman. Mabait po sila lahat sa akin. Kay sister Socorro din. Gusto ko lagi kong pinipray na lagi po silang manusok. Tapos kahit hindi na ako yung nurse, pag dumala ako dito, sana lagi po nila kong welcome. Ganun. Tapos sa mga bata, pinipray na may miss ko rin sila. Kaya wish ko sana na lagi silang manusog. Kung hindi na nila ako nurse, kung halimbawa magkita kami sa labas, sana hindi nila ako makakalimutan. Kasi para ko namin silang mga anak, lalo na yung laging nasa klinik. May sakit man o wala. Kaya mamimiss ko ang mga estudyante. Yung mga estudyante na sa klinik, yung ating mga suki sa klinik, ha, mag Kailangan lagi ko yung healthy sa mga empleyan ay yung nandito na sa same pool nagtatrabaho. Sana tumagal sila dito sa same pool ng 30 years kagaya ko.
Uh, gusto mo munang magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga sisters of St. Paul na sa pagbibigay ng opportunity at pagkakataon sa akin na makapag-work dito sa St. Paul College, Makati. Kung marami po nga ako natutunan dito sa pagkarabaw sa St. Paul. Unang-una yung pagdadasal. Bago po kami magsalang sa trabaho, eh, kaming lahat po nagdadasal po. Araw-araw po yan sa, dito sa lobby, at sorry. Tapos yung mga kadadasan sa kahit ang mga pasahero. Bago kami nagbiyahe yan, habang nagbiyahe, nagdadasal yan sila sa sasakyan. So, malaking bagay yun kasi I believe na ano siya, kumbaga sa ano, parang may protection ka sa Lord. Kasi maraming salamat sa Panginoon. Ang iba ko pang natutunan yung respeto sa kapwa. Lalo na yung mga nakakataas sa atin. Kailangan igalang natin sila. Ako nga pinsan natatats ako kasi mga sakay ko, mga pinakamataas yan, mga head, mga head ng school. Pero pag bumaba na yan, nagsasabi ng salamat ko. So maraming bagay yun. Maraming mong salamat. Sa kamo minsan, Uh, natutunan ko, be humble enough. Kung ano ba nagkamali ka? Be humble enough na aminin yung pagkakamali mo. Kasi lahat ng tao hindi naman perfecto. Kaya naman, may pagkataon talaga magkamali tayo. Pero aminin natin ng kamali tayo. Tapos, be humble enough to accept our mistakes. Tsaka, huwag mahiya po tayong magtanong. Kaya nasa TV nga yan eh, huwag mahiya magtanong. <laughs> Diba? Magtanong lang po tayo. <laughs> Isa pa rin sa natutunan ko, yung pagpahalaga sa oras. Sabi pa nga nila, time is gold. Kasi sayang kasi yung mga oras na dumaan, na wala kang ginawa, hindi mo na may balik yun eh. Kung halimbawa, meron kang gustong tapusin na trabaho, na kaya mo namang tapusin ngayon, o di gawin mo na. Huwag mo nang ipagpabukas pa. Bakit? Because tomorrow is another day. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Saka, isa pa na tutunan ko, yung loyal ka sa... Kung baga, loyal ka sa amo mo. And loyal ka sa pinagtrabuhan mo. Kasi, yun ang lifeline mo. Diyan, diba? Yun ang kabuhayan, syukis mo. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Tapos, Uh, huwag kalimutang magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga biyayang binigay sa atin, maliit man o malaki. Kasi mga biyayang darating, dapat magpasalamat ka. Tapos, huwag din kalimutang humingi ng tulong sa Lord, assistance, sa araw-araw mong pagkatrabaho. Uh, tsaka pagalang resipito sa kapwa simple sa trabaho mahalin niyo yung trabaho niyo uh, love your work so, shout out sa mga driver ng bus hindi pala basta basta lang yung pagmamanyo ng bus mahirap pala pero mo nang nagrado ako ng bus packet sa antipolo na puno ako na estudyante ang lamig ng aircon ng bus pero ang butil ko bawi ang, dal- ang pawis ko butil butil kasi yung ano eh, sa matarik na area, naka-stop kami doon dahil hindi binuksan ang gate. Tapos grabe ang kaba ko noon dahil puno ako ng pasahero, mga asyante. Pero naihatid ko naman silang maayos. Kaya lang, lahat ng asyante na kasi mangot. Bakit? Sabi ng isa, ang bagal kuya eh. <laughs> ang bagal. <laughs> ang bagal na takbo. <laughs> First time ko siya magmaniyo ng bus yun. So, pangalawang balik namin doon sa retreat house, nagmaniyo na ako. Nagulat ako si, nagpalakpakan yung dumating sa antipool, nagpalakpakan sila. Bakit? Sabi ng isa, medyo mabilis-bilis na kuya eh. Salamat <laughs> <laughs> sa mga sisters na lahat ng mga superior ang dumating, pinagkatiwalaan ako, nakarating ako iba-ibang lugar. Yan lang ang gusto kong iparating na bigyan niyong halaga yung work niyo tapos do your job well 
Tapos, uh, alagaan din nyo ang sarili nyo. Patuloy lang tayo sa pag-work, pagsisikap, saka pagporsiki para maitawid natin ang mga pangarap natin sa buhay. Maraming pong salamat sa lahat. That was so inspiring. Thank you so much. And congratulations to our service awardees this year. Thank you so much to all our human resource development and management head, uh, Ms. Marion Doploso, for collating and making this video. Uh, Shara, if I may ask you, which part of St. Paul's Week in a pre-pandemic setting do you miss so much? That's a very nice question, Sir Leo. Um, well, I miss the face-to-face -face rides, boots, festivities, and especially cheer dance. Um, it is just so unfortunate that we don't get to do the tradition that we are used to, but I am sure that it will be as exciting and fun as before. So let me ask you, Sir Leo, what do you look forward to in this setting? Ah, thank you so much. This time is a total 360 degrees change no? compared to the ones that we usually have based from what you have mentioned. Nonetheless, I am really excited about the different online games, uh, academic fest, and most especially the Festival of Talents. I am seeing this perspective because I have seen all the preparations from planning to the execution of this program, so I am thrilled to see the outcome. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who made this possible. Talaga. Thank you so much. Needless to say, I am with you, Sir Neil. At this juncture, let us now call on our assistant academic head, Mr. Raymond Andres Monte, to give us the opening, the closing remark. Good morning, our dear sisters, employees, parents, and students. Today is a glorious celebration, a celebration where our institution, St. Paul College of Makati, and the whole education ministry would celebrate the conversion of our dear beloved patron, St. Paul of Tarsus. Even in the midst of the pandemic, we see this celebration as a reminder of what the institution stands for, what the institution has done for the past 79 years of existence in the heart of Makati. SPCM has always delivered quality educational services for our clientele, especially to the least, the lost, and the last. Being one of the top choices among the private Catholic schools in Makati, we should be proud of that we are the first Catholic school in this city. 
we should be proud that we have evangelized so many individuals to be closer to God for the past years or for the past 79 years. So what made our institution thrive in these 79 years? I can only surmise this through an acronym, Paul. P for passion, A for accommodation, U for unity, and L for love. P, passion from the employees, A, accommodation for, for our clientele, U, uni, unity to collaborate with the community, and L, love of God and of others. Again, passion, accommodation, unity, and love. Whatever we do, we must keep in mind this acronym. So we must like the St. Paul, to be true Polinians, not as Sister Flor Delisa Dessa mentioned a while ago, mga asumerang Polinians. This way, we would be able to truly live grace-filled milestones and build faith-driven horizons. Given our theme this year, let me pose two questions to reflect on. The first question is, what milestones have you given to the institution? Milestones are considered as legacies and achievements. Something good and memorable that you would like to leave, to give, or to be handed down to the next generation. We must ask ourselves, what milestones were you or were we be able to achieve during our stay in this institution? What treasured memories can you tell the next generation? Will you be proud to say that SPCM is your second home? The milestones are hard earned and guided by prayer. I hope that each Polinian milestone would be able to create more opportunities to inspire others to be the next horizons in this institution. This leads me then to the next question. How will you contribute to the institution's next horizons. Horizons are considered as new experiences, new endeavors, new events, challenges, and hopes. As the school faces the 21st century, SPCM also faces new horizons. As a student, as an employee, as a parent, and a stakeholder, what school horizons can you contribute to? How would you use your time, talent, treasure to build better horizons for the next Polinians of SPCM? As we venture into this volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world, we should know our core. We should remain steadfast in our mission and vision in life. To live with a purpose is to lead with God's purpose. As we prepare for our 80th foundation year next year, may we be more proud than ever. May we use these milestones or legacies to build better horizons, better school landscapes. That is how we would be able to ensure the institution's relevance for the next 80 years. We must work as one community in order to maintain our relevance in this busy and fast-paced city. Each must do his or her part in making SPCM grow and develop. As the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians had said, for in one spirit, we are all baptized into one body. Remember that each individual, whether a sister, a teacher, a student, a parent, or an alumni, you have your own milestone. Whether we do things face-to-face -face or virtually, it is up to us to use these milestones to build better horizons in the Polinian way. So happy feast day, everyone, and I hope that you will enjoy the activities that we had prepared for you. Thank you very much, and Caritas Christi or Jetnos. Thank you so much, Mr. Raymond Andre Samonte. On behalf of the community, again, we would like to welcome you to the celebration of the 79th year of the St. Paul College of Makati. This may be the end of the opening program, but this is the start of a fun-filled 
horizons. We hope that we all enjoyed the event and let us remember the holy presence of our Lord. Also, we would like to take this opportunity to thank our gold, silver, and bronze sponsors who have helped us make it, to make this event possible. You will be recognized in our events and in our official social media accounts. Shara, I think you are on mute. At this point, let us recite the life performance outcome. As a Christ-centered Polinian, I am a mindful, self-directed learner and role model, consciously expressing my faith. This is followed by the closing prayer to be led by Arwen Jersey Magaya. And together, let us sing the Polinian hymn. Let us be aware of Christ's presence in our hearts and in our soul and name. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, our Father, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, as we end this virtual opening ceremony, remind us that this is not the conclusion nor the end. Rather, remind us that this is the beginning, the beginning which calls us to be united united in this sweet celebration and on the following months, years, and milestones to be steadfast, steadfast in faith, hope, and charity, and to be role models, role models like your patron saint, Paul the Apostle, whose vision is graceful through Christ's love. May all our defeats and success lead us to you and lead us to our growth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Shorts, our Mother and Mother, pray for us. Saint Paul, our patron, pray for us. Father Louis Chabay and the First Three Sisters, rejoicing for us. May the love of Christ impel us now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let us not forget our hashtags for this event. Uh, hashtags for this event. Hashtag onwards SPCM. Hashtag SPCM Road to 80. Hashtag Gracefield Milestones. And hashtag Faith Driven Horizons. Goodbye, everyone, and have a fruitful, St. Paul's week. Caritas Christi Urgenos. Bye-bye. Mindanao, mundo'y nakikinig sa'yo para simulan ang pagbabago Ilang oras pa ba ang kinakailangan? May pag-ibig pa kaya? O pangunawa man? O prinsipyo hindi na mababali? Kayang harapin, kayang-kayang sagipin Huwag matakot ipakita ang galing Lagi-lagi mong tatandaan Totoo ang pagmamahal at kapayapan Ang tatak na ibabandera mo Oh, 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 o